The annual Vets Rock is underway at Mohegan Sun Casino. News 8 is a proud sponsor of the day-long event, which helps men and women who have served our country. News 8's Jackie Slater is live at the casino today for all the festivities. Jackie. And thousands of veterans here at Mohegan Sun today. This day all about celebrating them and helping them find success. Now, as part of today's festivities, one very special Connecticut veteran was here to help inspire them. Here's his story. See Vets Rock take veterans, put them into the private sector, and really become force multipliers. It's huge. Kevin Lace, born in Meriden, raised in Middlefield, now an author, motivational speaker, and former Navy SEAL. In college and planning on becoming a doctor, Lace shifted gears after 9-11. I wanted to be SEAL from the time I walked in the Navy recruiting office in, in, in uh, Middletown. Um, I saw a bunch of guys climbing out of the water in a poster, and I was like, that's an awesome job. I wanted to do that. 85% of people who apply to be SEALs don't make it through training. Lace did and served two tours overseas. His book, The Last Punisher, details his experiences. There's a lot of, um, a lot of people that believe that as soon as you go to Iraq or Afghanistan, you have PTSD. Um, and PTSD is very real, and I understand I have a lot of friends that have PTSD, but not everybody has that, and I wanted to tell a different story. As part of Vets Rock 2017, Lace is sharing his story with other vets. Events like this show that there's a huge um, support system available. And, you know, to know that people have your back, they're going to get you suits, they're going to get you trained, they're going to make connections for you is empowering. Lace now lives in Florida with his wife, Lindsay, and their two children. He is a physician's assistant and hopes he can inspire other vets to rise above the challenges and find success. Veterans change the battlefield. You know, we've done some great things in Iraq, Afghanistan, and a lot of other places around the world. Um, there's no reason why we can't change the battlefield when we step out to the civilian side. And the Big Vets Rock concert set to begin at 7.30, so there's still plenty of time for people to come on down and support our vets. All of the proceeds from Vets Rock is going towards helping to build a USO center right here in Connecticut. And Bob Wilson is here. He's going to have a wrap-up of all things Vets Rock tonight on News 8 at 10 and 11. Reporting live at Mohegan Sun, Jackie Slater, News 8.